Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how to fold the kangaroo by angle. This is one I just folded. There's a baby kangaroo here in the pouch. I'm going to start with the um, colour side up and fold diagonally in both directions and turn it around and fold in half in both directions. I've already done the pre-creasing. Then you collapse so you get a preliminary base and then you fold a bird base. So what you basically do is you take one of these open edges and you just fold it to the central crease. And you do that on both sides. This is just pre-creasing. Once you've done that, you can open this down in the bottom, push the paper up, and the paper from the sides you push inside. And when you do that in the bottom and in the top too, the model can lie flat. Do that on the other side too. So this is what you get. Turn it around, do the same thing there. Once you've done that on both sides, you've got the bird base. We're going to fold both flaps down now. And what we're next going to do is going to do folds on the tip. We're going to do um, angle bisectors here and here, and down here too. So for the angle bisectors, just bring this edge to the central crease, and then crease it down on both sides. And for that angle bisector, you bring this edge to that horizontal crease. And then, where those angle bisectors meet, there is like an intersection. Um, those two points you connect with another crease. Like so. And then you've got a triangle here. And do the same thing on the other side. Um, what we're next going to do is, inside here, you've got these flaps, and you're going to inside reverse fold them very deeply. Basically, let's fold this to the side. This is the um, horizontal line, there's actually no crease there, but in the middle there, that's where the reverse fold is going to stop. So, you're really going to fold very deeply. And you basically do an angle bisector. You do an angle bisector here. So when you do that, that reverse fold is going to form like a straight line with this crease. And you do that on both sides. This is what you get to lie the paper down. Basically, on the tip here, I'm going to do a valley fold just as a pre-crease. So we've kind of got a line here now, right? And um, now you're going to collapse these folds that you just made. So if you've got the valley fold here, put your fingers in the middle, and then without creating any new creases, just try to make those valley folds you've got here into mountain folds. So if you do that on both sides, here, just go along the folds you've got. You've kind of got a pyramid popping up there. And on that pyramid, this is one of them.
pyramid, you're going to basically collapse by doing valley folds just where I drew them in. And that's basically just going to happen automatically if you push down here a bit and you push the sides together. And you do that on all both sides. And then you can fold the whole thing over to one side. Let's say this side. what you get. Okay. Next you're just going to fold this in half. So you've got the same on both sides. This is going to be the baby kangaroo. So let's re inside reverse fold that. Take this tip and just pull it upwards and the inside reverse fold would automatically happen and inside reverse fold it um, almost as far as you can so this is the head okay and in the tip you kind of inside reverse fold a bit so the head with the nose isn't quite so pointy Next we're going to do an angle bisector, so you bring this edge up to this one and you fold that and you do the same thing on the other side. And then you do a mountain fold like in the middle. You might see some white bits there. right here. So you do the mountain fold on that. And when doing so, this flap automatically goes to the other side. And then you press that flat. So if you unfold this, you can see there's a there's a value fold that's going to appear quite naturally in a right angle and you do that on the other side. Next on this bottom bit you're going to do an angle bisector here so you bring this edge to align with that bit up like that. Do that on both sides.